Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is brought to you by Minsky's Pizza. Gourmet and gonna stay that way, voted Kansas City's best pizza. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, H.D. Esley. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mike Breeden. I'm very excited for this fight. Our first Here's Mike fight Eaglin with instructions. Mike Breeden, training out of Glory MMA and Fitness. One of Glory MMA and Fitness's top professional prospects. Super, super skilled fighter. On the feet and on the ground and in the in-between. Round number one brought to you by Modelo Cervezas. Here we go. Hard leg kicks from both guys right away. Good head kick from Esley. Boom, these leg kicks are very hard. Breeden ate a hard kneecap on that outside leg kick. No feeling out process here between these two. Boom, Breeden got to check up on that leg kick. Anyone answers to the shin. Esley's liking the kicking game early. Both fighters seem very calculated. Looking to pick their shots. Breeden goes to the body first and then upstairs with the lead hook. A nasty combination. HD Ailsley, high guard, nothing landed. Good stuff from both guys, defense and offense. Very technical start to this yeah, Breeden, first pro fight. Breeden threatening with that push kick to the face there. Just putting it right up on the beard. Mike Breeden answers with a nice jab. If you notice, he's fainting his cross. So Breeden will go low with the cross. He'll faint the cross and come hard with the jab. It's just different angles. A really high level boxing. He's doing it again. He keeps doing it over and over. It's just simple shoulder movements and simple feints that are getting him to score these straight punches. There it is again. He's done it three times in a row now. That time was answered with the jab from Elsley. Elsley looks like he's catching on. Just over three minutes left in our first round here. Hard body kick. Body right to the rib cage, forces Breeden to switch, dances to the southpaw. Back to orthodox and a big lead hook from Breeden. And the shot, there's the first takedown. From Elsley, Breeden stuffs. Looks to circle off the fence. Need of the body from Esley. Oh, slip there. Big head kick the from Elsley with a slip. Breeden lets him up. Body, body punches from Breeden. Elsley throws that knee up that just fell short. Definitely something to think about from Breeden. Good body kick. <laughs> Elsley's very active in the kicking game. Breeden goes to the body with the cross and upstairs with the hook. Elsley with a big double leg, had him airborne for a second. Breeden was gliding across the, the canvas, which looked like he was gliding like a figure skater yeah. in the Olympics I've been watching on this nice, beautiful new white canvas that's brought to you by McCarthy Auto Group. Ooh. 
Good plug. So we're just under 45 seconds left in this first round. Our first pro fight of the evening, Kansas City Fighting Alliance 27. Ooh, right in the pelotas. Yeah. A little cup shot. Little cup shot there. Accidental cup check from Helsley. Boom, Breeden looking to answer with the uppercut this time. Switching up the angles of his hands. Boom, neat. Uh, both fighters are throwing devastating shots. Both fighters are super aggressive and techni technical, but really no one's really landing yet. It just shows both guys have tight defenses. They're both throwing, they're both banging. They're throwing some heat now with six seconds left in this first round. And that bell will ring. Boom, great defense, great understanding of range, great offense. Good round turned in by both those guys. Great fight. Very competitive. It's kind of the theme tonight at Kansas City Fighting Alliance, very well matched card. Haven't seen any one-sided fights tonight. No, it's been good matchups. Everyone in the live chat, let us know who you think is going to win tonight's main event between Josh Tolley and Bobby Cooper, a Kansas City Fighting Alliance rematch. Let us know who you're taking in that one. Vanessa, Molina, and Camacho will be next as we kick off round number two between Breeden and Esley. Mike Breeden using to touch out, paw out jabs, paw out crosses, looking to feel out the range. Helsley doing a great job with that lead leg. He's checking the range with that lead leg, just flipping it up high. I really like that. Boom. Heavy exchanges in the pocket. Both guys seem warm now. They seem to be feeling each other out. Body kick. Nice body kick from Breeden. Helsley in the right spot. Esley's really working that inside leg. Oh, and a oh. big hook from Breeden. Esley able to get back to his feet. Mike Breeden landed big with that hook. And another big hook. Mike Breeden fainting low and going high. I love, watch Mike always does something before he punches. Whether it's a faint, whether it's footwork, he does something to get you to think and then he throws. He's looking, he's changing his angles and then boom, there he goes. Boom, and a hard body kick. Body kick. That was right on the liver and he shoots. Helsley felt that. Oh, Helsley checks him high there. Breeden catches the leg in a big cross. Action picking up now as Mikey Breeden picking up the volume here in this second round. Ooh, Breeden is looking like he's got a new answer for kicks. He's catching them. Interesting new strategy. I wonder if that's something that came up with in the corner. Nice check. I would not want to get kicked by Helsley. Those, those leg kicks look heavy. Yeah. You can see the inside of Mike Breeden's leg starting to get a little redness from said kicks. Good head kick attempt by Esley there. Mike Breeden doing lots of feints with his feet, not just with his shoulders, but his feet as well. Push kick. 
two minutes left here in this second round. Boom, that jab got through stiff. Breeden looking like he's uh, controlling this round here, finding his shots, avoiding getting hit. The Helsley's game. Big knee from Helsley and a big knee, two knees. Real fluid striking from Helsley. Left knee, stance switch, right knee, stance, circles out, beautiful stuff. Good uppercut from Breeden there. Shot by Esley there. Great sprawl by Breeden. kick from Breeden. One minute left here in our second round. Helsley doing a good job rebounding off of the, the fence. He bounces off like a pinball, boom, and he's right back in his stance and right in Breeden's face. Big hook, oh, and he's big dropped, a big cross. He's hurt. Mike Breeden is raining on him. Right in front of us here. 45 seconds big to elbows. Work. Mike Breeden with devastating elbows there. He's looking to open up a money box. 40 Big seconds elbows. to work. Helsley recovering nicely, looking to control the posture. But Breeden's all over him. Helsley out the back door. Wow. Helsley's up. A guillotine attempt here. Nope. Mike Breeden. Boom. What an exchange. Great job by Esley. He was hurt there. Elsley Still might hurt. be. Elsley is very tough. Controlled the posture, recovered himself, and went out the back door. Ten seconds left. Hard leg kick. That would hurt. Esley survives that onslaught to move us into round three. Great round turned in by Mikey Breeden. Oh, a devastating right hand. Breeden sets up that right hand with several different setups. That one being he ghosted his lead hook and then just pow right down the middle. Beautiful stuff. Breeden is so technical with his hands. Our third round of our first pro fight, which has not disappointed so far between H.D. Esley and Mike Breeden. Here we go, round number three. Both fighters touch gloves, coming into round number three. Close fight here, De second round definitely goes to Mike Breeden. He dropped him twice, but you know, it's one of those fights where Mike Breeden definitely won the round, but Helsley is game as oh, can absolutely. be. He is so dangerous and is still dangerous. So, you know, I, I gotta give Breeden the edge here as far as like, you know, who's winning the fight, but don't get it twisted. Helsley is as dangerous as they come and is in this every second. Boom, Hells able to take a shot on the outside. Breeden just waiting for Elsley to get into striking distance and then throwing two three punch combinations. to the body. Breeden does look like he slowed the volume down a little bit. Yeah, both fighters slowing down a little bit. Still both very dangerous, lots of power into their hands. Big hook there, I couldn't tell if that was one of those. Um, it looked like he was changing levels and. Yeah, hook went a little long. Yep. Ooh, that kick skimmed by his head there. I'm sure he heard it like a short stop. You know, would you ever play baseball where the ball flew by your head? Like no more. No, I caught him. Oh, you caught, caught him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I didn't. <laughs> I ducked. 
Oh, quick body kick. hard body that hurt kick. Him. I feel like I heard that a hurt rib him. crack. That oh, hurt him. He is hurt. Oh my. Devastating. HD Esley is tough. tough. HD is very tough. He's hurt right now. He uh, he's looking to get this fight to the ground, which is probably smart at this point. But a little man. over three minutes to work in this round. Yeah, and Breeden's still attacking the body, but Helsley is dangerous as they come still. I wouldn't, just because he's hurt, Knee. can't sleep on him. Nope. Man, these last two fights have just been top awesome. notch. Big punch to the body. Another big punch to the body. Devastating boxing for Mike Breeden. And a big push kick. Could have been low. You know, that's Good one luck. of those things where on a push kick, the defense to it is to come down and redirect it. And by redirecting what was at your belly button sometimes goes down into the pelotas. And so you can actually redirect a kick that would be to the belly button but ends up in the pelotas. And that's something that, you know, ends yep. up being a foul. So accidental from both guys. Accidental, yep. Yeah. He will get some time to recover here. Yeah, both guys shaking hands before the rounds. Both guys good sportsmen. Uh, they're both just banging. That's what happens yep. when you're throwing kicks and hands at each other is as you end up getting some low blows. Boom. Both fighters just feeling each other out, circling. A little over two minutes left in this fight, our first pro fight of the evening. It looks like, and tell me, Turner, if you agree here, it kind of looks like now each fighter is kind of is wanting to strike off of his opponent's strikes. Yep. So they're in range, strike for me a little bit, boom, so I can counter. I think yep. that's what each guy's trying to look to do, and that could have something to do with fatigue or just feeling each other out and figuring the timing out. Absolutely. Good left hand. Mike Breeden's boxing is beautiful. He take, comes to, you know, it's very, you know, and in, in MMA, oh. oh, that was to the cup, ouch. It's very rare in boxing, or in MMA, that you see um, high-level boxing working the body, working low, working high. Yeah. Um, and, and Breeden does a really good job at that. Man, that, that one took the life out of him there. Yeah, that one. Total accidental, not, not on purpose from Helsley. They're both, they're both throwing hard shots. It happens. That's a rough one right there. Is That's one of the hardest uh, cup checks I've seen uh, in person. You know, that is number two. So here, here's the deal we have here. It was definitely not intentional. He definitely didn't mean to. But in basketball, they don't mean to travel. They, they didn't mean to double dribble. So at, at what point do we say, hey, it was an accident. You're a good guy. But we still have to call a foul. Sure. You know? And on the first one, it's I would, I'm not against taking a point away, which maybe there should be a zero tolerance. But at this point, like Mike Breeden's, or excuse me, like Mike England's doing right now, you got to take a point away. It's yep. the second time it happened. It's super unfortunate. Yep. It's an amazing fight, back and forth. You know, uh, one giving one, allowing one is lenient. Two, you got to call it. Um, total accidental, but uh, it's got to be called. And you know, I honestly, I'm surprised that uh, a point is actually being taken away. It's the right call. Mike yep. England's doing the right thing, but it's very rare that uh, a fighter gets a point deducted for grabbing the cage, um, striking to the pelotas, whatever it, it may be. Um, so it's good to see the foul. Yeah, absolutely. And in, in a fight this close, it it uh, it always sucks to see that point get taken away, but. Unfortunately, it is part of the sport. As we restart action here with a minute and a half left in this fight. Oh, Mike Breeden cut, oh, big body kick. Oh, that hurt his leg. Yeah, his leg is hurting. His leg. There's one minute left. Elsley smells blood. One minute left. Breeden's lower body has definitely faced some serious trauma in the last 30 seconds. Elsley looks for the takedown here. Elsley's in on a deep double leg, deep double leg. Breeden scrambling. Man, Breeden is wiry and scrappy. Good hips to, to stop that double leg. Little over 30 seconds left here in this fight. Both guys throwing heat. 
20 seconds. Both fighters are going for it. Final 10 seconds, who wants it more? Boom, awesome fight from both Great fighters. Fight. Great stuff. Great fight, very good. Very, very, very good. Yeah, this has been this has been a great fight card. What a great fight! You know, um, I would have given the edge to Breeden without the point deduction, um, just with the volume of the hands, the angles. Uh, he dropped him twice in the second round. Uh, with the uh, point deduction being taken away, that's uh, definitely going to be in the bag for Breeden. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Tough debut for Elsley. Think about your pro debut fighting a guy like Mike Breeden. Yeah, Mike Breeden. Uh Turned in a great performance. I mean, he he started to land it with a lot of volume in the second round there, uh, and I think he think he took this one. But man, H. D. Esley, incredible chin first of all, but to to smell the blood late in that third when it looked like Mikey Breeden had had uh, had a hurt leg there, and, and to, to to still be fighting that hard uh, with with that little time left in the in the fight is pretty impressive. Yeah, definitely. Hats off to both guys. That was very fun to watch. That was our first pro fight of the evening. Three more to go, including our main event between Josh Tully and Bobby Cooper. You can see Breeden gingerly limping on that leg that Esley was focusing on Ladies early on. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges are in agreement. They scored about 30 to 26 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision out of the red corner, Mike Breeden. Good win for Mike Breeden as he moves to 4-0 in his young professional career. 